In today's Madden 22 video, we're gonna be breaking down one of my favorite pressures for really any situation. This is one of my favorite pressures out of the Big Nickel Over G, and I'm gonna show you a nice little adjustment out of it that's gonna make it even better. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We upload videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And if you wanna get my brand new Big Nickel Over G defense, got over about three hours of content on it, breaking down why I believe it's the best defense in the game right now, how to run every pressure. We've got about 15 different blitzing concepts in this, all the coverage concepts you could want. If you want to check that out, that link is in the description. You can join my Patreon for just $10, and it'll get you instant access to not only my big nickel defense, but also all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides are available via the Patreon. Now, the blitzing concept we're going to be talking about today comes to us out of the Strong Safety Blitz 2. It's one of my favorite blitzes in the game, specifically for trips style sets. Really, um, like bunch, gun tight, compression, very good for all that stuff. And it's real simple to set it up. All we're going to do to set this up is we're going to show blitz. I like to base a line as well, but I already have that in my coaching settings. We're going to pinch our line, crash our defensive line out. And then from there, the blitz is basically set up. So I'll show you, we're just gonna move this guy down, kind of bring this guy in here. And if you're against bunch, I love to contain because it'll put that nickel corner on the contain. And you'll see here that you're gonna get this really nice little B gap pressure at the quarterback. Now I'll show you that one more time. I got a little bit tripped up, but I'll show you how simple this can be. And again, just real simple, boom, boom. It's real fast setup. And what you'll see here is you get this little disengage B gap pressure at the quarterback. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you could send double edge pressure, which I'll talk about in just a second. But what I also like about this defense is if I hold left trigger at the snap of the ball, you'll see that the center just got to hold him a little bit more. And as you can see, we're getting that disengage over and over and over again. Now, if you don't want the disengage, don't contain. If you don't contain, typically there won't be any disengages. So you see right here, there's no disengage. We're just going to come around the edge, loop around every single time. What I like about the contain though, is sometimes when they block their running back, which you'll notice with this SS Blitz 2 concept, is a lot of times you'll get this contain that will sometimes actually loop around the tackle and be able to go sack the quarterback. It's one of the interesting things about Big Nickel over G this year and the way the Blitz is kind of designed, I think is very interesting how the, the concepts work this year. And like I said, you see how we get this like little disengage, we get this looper coming in late at the quarterback. Now, I um, also wanted to talk about why the um or i want to show you something else with this so you'll see right here that if i don't let's say that i don't um contain if they block the running back they're going to pretty much pick it up uh pretty pretty consistently um and then and then if i i'll show you one other thing with this if i man up the running back with the backside defensive end let me show you something real quick you'll see here that it won't come in even if they block a running back it's not going to matter it's just the way the physics work in the game this year. The line's going to know he's not blitzing, so I don't need to worry about him. Now, how do we get pressure against a blocked running back? What I like to do is I like to blitz the safety that we roll down. This is why I talk about this is a really good trips defense. And the reason why is because what I like to do here is crash my line out. Now I'm going to be double edge pressure. Now this double edge pressure, the reason it works so well against trips is because what I can do on the left side is I can man that guy up on the solo receiver and I can drop the linebacker into a curl flat zone. So you see that's how it looks. And at the snap of the ball, if they blow, if they block a running back, we're still gonna get really good pressure off of the left and the right edge. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this is this also hedges our bet in a situation where they block their tight end. So here I'll show you, this is the first concept, just simply containing the outside guy and I'm gonna block my tight end. And a lot of times what you'll see here is it gets picked up and they have all day to be able to make a read. So what do I like to do to be able to guarantee pressure against a blocked tight end or a blocked running back? Well, what I like to do, real simple, we're gonna send that guy, we're gonna drop that purple zone, and now you see we're sending six. And what makes this so good is the fact that it guarantees pressure. If you wanna drop that backside guy into a hard flat, you certainly can do that. Your primary responsibility is the tight end wheel. So you're going to the right here at the step of the ball and you see how good this pressure can be as long as you're in the middle of the field to be able to lurk anything that they're going to throw over the middle like a wheel um, to the tight end or a crosser uh, or something like that this is really 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 good so you see here oh okay go to the crosser go to the tight end wheel and you see we're still coming in clean still coming in nice and smooth at the quarterback now another thing that you can do with this left side pressure 
is you can actually pinch this guy in just a little bit. If you pinch him in just a little bit, what you're going to get is you're going to get a double contain. You're going to see here I get contain off of the left side, and I've got contain pressure off of the right side. Now, what this is really good for is if they're going to block their running back, you're going to see here you are going to absolutely fly through the B-gap. You're going to fly off the edge. Really fast press pressure from this. And what I also one thing to do if you don't want to have like a, you know, an isolated man-to-man, -man, put him in a deep half. When you put him in a deep path with this curl flat or when you man this guy up with the curl flat out there, it's really effective for wheels. It's really effective for anything. I'll show you real quick. If I try to throw a running back wheel quick to the flat, you'll see that this curl flat defender will at least make a catch tackle. We have flat zone KO. He'll knock the ball out. But also one of the things a lot of people like to do is they like to run this little concept right here where they put an out route and they put a wheel because our linebacker is going to do a really good job with this curl flat situation. So you'll see right here. In this situation, all I have to do is cover the right side of the screen. And as you can see, this wheel is going to go right into that curl flat. Now, obviously, that's a little fluky. You see the guy is right there. If I, if I don't have to you know, throw the pass and then click on, I would be able to get two controllers or uh, be able to intercept that ball. So there you have it. This is one of my favorite defenses in the entire game. Just something simple like this. If, you, if, you're in a, if they're in a spread set, this is more like what I like to do. Like, let's say they're in a doubles set or they're flipping their bunch like this or whatever this is something you can do really easily and you'll see again look how consistent the pressure is it's coming in fast and they're going to have to make a quick read thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about the defense learn more about how i run it and how i can literally lock down every single offense in this game with baseline auto flip on loop pressures everything that you want be sure to check out that big Nickel over G defensive guide. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to check out that membership again, link down below. You can get it for just 10 bucks. Get you everything. Thanks for watching.